What's up, Chickster crew? Welcome back to another video. We picked up the 750, and boy, guys, what is there a lot of problems? But we'll talk about it right after this intro. We're back with the bike. Uh, man, I have so much. Just where do we start? So we took her in for a problem with the lack of power at full throttle. So they did the work and turns out the clutch was bad and it was slipping. And on top of that, the clutch lever was fucked up. So that didn't really help. On top of that, the freaking brake lines are, were original from 2006. And I guess they're supposed to be changed every four years. So we had still braided lines put on. The front tire was mounted on backwards. Um, Freaking, the brake fluid was old. They said it hasn't been changed. And they don't know how long. Freaking, ah oh man, dude, it was just, it was a lot, but it was worth paying the money to make sure that the bike ran perfectly fine. So we'll find out right now if it fixed the problem. Yep, definitely seems like it fixed the problem. So when I get home, I'll definitely be looking for new levers because this one's not going to do, guys. It's ugly and it doesn't match. And now that I'm actually looking at these mirrors, I don't like these mirrors either. Now, I don't know what we're going to do, but we'll figure that out. And then my fiance drives like a fucking race car driver. <laughs> she thinks she's funny. You gotta love her. Oh, apparently the bearing inside here was all jacked up too. But that's the motorcycle life, guys. Always fixing stuff. Thank God that uh, I took it to professionals because I never would have figured out it was the clutch. I would have just kept putting money into it. But yeah, we need to go find some black levers because this silver one just ain't gonna do it, guys. Like, it's just, it doesn't fit in. It's so ugly. Got those nice steel braided lines, though. We're gonna race her. We're gonna race her, guys. <laughs> just not having my shit today. So yeah, we're gonna look for new levers, start looking for new plastics, need to get some bar ends. I need to run my freaking little adapter so I can run my front GoPro. That fixed the problem. Now she's got her, that giddy up that all those 750s supposedly have. Oh, guys, let me tell you guys before I forget. Your boy got a P.O. box this morning. So all my fellow YouTubers, man, send me some stickers. I'll send some back. I've been falling behind on sending stickers because I didn't have a P.O. box. And it wasn't really down to put on my real address. I'm excited. I've been really wanting a P.O. box, but just haven't done it. But this last night I was laying in bed. I was like, you know what? I'm going to do it. I'm going to get this P.O. box. I'm going to do it tomorrow. I was waiting for the post office to open. And then that's when freaking the shop called me, told me the bike was ready. Ah, guys, I'm so excited. I've been waiting to put money into it and make it mine because of the whole problem that was going on. But, ugh, it's fixed. I can do what I want. Yes. Feels so good. I already have an idea what color scheme we're going to go for the bike. So, start looking for those today. 
man, now that she's running good, now we gotta name the girl. The RS is Sally. So I was thinking maybe like Susie or something with an S to keep the S theme going. Comment down below some S names you think would be good. Without the bike, I did some planning, some videos. We got we got like another top five YouTubers, or I don't know if it's gonna be top five. I might just shout out a bunch of YouTubers. Uh, I got my parent review. I gotta answer the challenge for bike beards and brews. I gotta make a video with no talking. That one's gonna be hard. I thought the whole uh, no edit challenge was gonna be hard, but now this one's gonna be hard. This is gonna be a hard one. I kind of have an idea of what we're gonna do though. But got some work to do now, guys. Woo! Told you guys, 2022 is gonna be the jigster year. Oh, there's dirt. My lord! Fucking slid me right in the back of the seat. Good thing that back thing's there. I'm hungry. Is anyone else hungry? I'm hungry. I literally just got off of work, went to the post office, after the post office went home, and then we drove to come pick up the bike. I haven't eaten. I'm starving. Man, I can't get over how ugly that shifter is. This one's flimsy, and this one's, I mean, it's good, but fuck. Still thinking about doing a video with the RS. If I didn't get the bike back this week, I was going to do a video with her. Maybe I'll still do her. Maybe I'll do a video with her uh, next week. After this video, maybe we'll do an RS video. I think that would be kind of fun. Something to switch it up a little bit. Oh, it's my fellow bikers. Battle, 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 battle. Meow, 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 meow. Man, I hate being stuck behind freaking semi trucks. They flip this tire around and it feels really weird now. Maybe because I'm just so used to riding it backwards, I guess. I don't know. Alright guys, that's going to be the end of this video. I know it wasn't all that long either. But all of the long videos are going to start back up next week. So I hope you guys have a fantastic week. Be safe out there. Remember, be sure to send me them stickers, boys. Alright guys, peace.